don't even. I don't know don't even if she's yourself. putting halo filters on them. If you she's face know. swapping. Oh no, there's that little angel. Is it on little, you? Yeah, the your little angels, flower. Your angels. The flower filter. I honestly have never like, used. That's those. that's dope. I've never used those filters, <laughs> but now you can. How many followers you got on Snap? I don't know. I got like fifty k views. Get them. Something light, and that That's voice, not that, much. that voice you do hear is Lisa Ramos in the building right now. She has brought her book, Pizza and Chill. The irony, right? You put pizza building, and we, we chill got pizza. Yes. And I said and on Twitter wine. that I was bringing pizza, but you still brought it anyway. So that's definitely because yeah, I needed the bacon and pepperoni. Yeah, and I'm yuck and, right now. and yuck. <laughs> and we're on we on Facebook. Yuck live. and yuck. What's up, Snapchat Facebook Live? live. Hola. Lisa, Jake, Scoop. Jake Brown, Brandon Robinson, at Jake Brown Radio, Rome. at Scoop B, at Brown, at Scoop, <laughs> at Lisa A. Ramos. Is, what's your, is that your moment? No, it's just that everybody, someone always takes Lisa Ramos, and they're, like, inactive. I feel like they want me to buy my account or something, because... Sounds like you, Jake. Jake. Well, yeah, I try to get from Jake egg. Brown, and the guy said he wanted, like, thousands. I'm like, shut the hell up, man. Give me thousands yeah, for your Twitter okay. name. Like, well, that's just, like, Instagram. I want Scoop B. Somebody took, has Scoop B, and they don't, they don't even use it. So I do Same scoop with me underscore for Twitter bit. and Instagram, and it's but my middle name uh, it does start with an A. So you, you're not gonna say what it is. Alta Gracia. Say uh, wait. God can bless you say that four times fast? <laughs> it's Alta Gracia. It's a Dominican name. Yeah. Oh. So they, you know, I never really tell anybody about it. Now you guys know. I hear it all day. That just keep saying it again. Alta Gracia. You think it's the next name? Three times okay, fast. So. Three times. Alta Gracia. Alta Gracia. I can't. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> Versace. Versace. We stay at the Metro when we in Miami. Um, she brought peace and chill. All right, so this book right here, mm -hmm. I'm actually interested in this. I want to read this because as a single guy in the city, like this is <laughs> it's a, not only for single people. It's just like about modern dating in general. It can get weird, but it's for guys and girls. Yes, it's for men and women. So, and basically, you learn everything about the world of dating and do's and don'ts, pickup lines, and mm -hmm. uh, ten ways to love yourself. Best things about being single. Yeah. There's a lot, and playlists for every chapter, too, so that's that was so fun. And Netflix and chill, what, it's like trademark, so you couldn't name the book that? Yeah, no, I wasn't allowed to use Netflix in the title, so we went with pizza and chill. What about mofongo and chill? Mofongo, I mean, I, I don't really eat mofongo that much, it's not like so we do mango. Okay, what's the difference between mofongo and mango? Mango is just mashed plantains with, like, butter and garlic and maybe onions, and okay. then mofongo has, like, meat inside of it, like either chicken, shrimp, or pork, I like which shrimp. we don't eat. I don't eat pork. I don't eat cheese at all. No, that's shrimp crazy. I love it. Say what? Shrimp and chill. Prawns. Prawns. Right now. They say prawns in the UK. I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I was at Madison Square Garden last month, and I went to, like, one of the executive suites and took, like, a ton of, like, prawns, and they were, like, prawns. <laughs> they were good. They were yeah, they're good. great. I didn't know they were called prawns until I was, like, friends with someone from that's just like when you go to a Chinese restaurant, you get the sesame shrimp instead of sesame chicken. Uh -huh. They call them prawns, sesame prawns. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, now I know. You're being a little, something new every day. You're being a little bougie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm only going to call it prawns from now on. Oh, the wine we have here isn't that bougie. It's, it's good, though. I never it's drink good wine. Normal. I always drink cheap wine. Yeah, it's settling in. I'm more of a Ciroc and beer drinker. but I can drink Ciroc and not together Ciroc. Not together, no, no. But the, my two yeah. favorites. Yeah, I just can't do tequila. Oh, no 1800? Mm -mm. I cannot do tequila. The smell of tequila, tequila is just tequila. I call it violent. Tequila. tequila will get you in trouble, so, oh, I, okay. so I hear. Yeah. Are you? Oh, <laughs> do you watch football on Sunday? I do. I do. My, fam my uh, stepfather's a big Giants fan, so the whole family watches. So do you drink? And I, I hear you like upside-down pizza. I love upside-down pizza. What is that? I don't oh even know what that gosh. is. Oh, my gosh. It's like a lasagna. It's like layer of meat, layer of pepperoni, layer of cheese. Layer of meat, pepperoni, cheese, and then uh, Pillsbury crescent rolls flattened on the top. Is that? And you bake it. It looks like a lasagna, but it tastes way better. This, yeah. You make it? I make it, yeah. It's so good. So, in your book, Peace and Chill. I didn't, I didn't write about that in there. Okay, so if you were to make a sequel, you know, Mofongo and Chill, <laughs> or Mongo and Chill, give us everyday hardworking New Yorkers who are trying to make it happen, quick dishes to make in the kitchen. That look fancy, but they're still... That's easy. What do you yeah. mean, like Spanish food? Whatever. Oh, okay. Well, you can't go wrong with the upside-down pizza, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. And I think pasta's a good thing, because you only have to boil it and throw some sauce on it. Or... What kind of sauce, though? It's all in the sauce. It's all in the sauce. I like vodka sauce. That's a little more complicated. Or you can just do, like, olive oil, garlic, and capers. Capers is the best. I love capers. Yes. It's amazing. Right? Yes. Yeah, or you can put spinach in there, like sauteed spinach, and of put course, it. Of course, of course. Super easy. I love mashed potatoes and fried chicken. Work. I make the best mashed potatoes in the world. With I really garlic, garlic and butter. 
I put like a, a bag of cheddar cheese in it, and I put a little sour cream and a little. It's, I'm not gonna believe my recipe. This is a, you check cheddar. You, you, you check cheddar <laughs> like football a football Sundays at the Bravo's <laughs> house. Jeez. Yeah, it's very good. The reason why I asked about the sauce is my cousin Sharon is actually manning the uh, Facebook Live over there. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll call him or text him to come to my house every time I make this linguine with white clam sauce. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. Chiron. That sounds, I love linguine. Tell us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we take the but we go to like the grocery store and get the sesame seed rolls. You know, oh. you get like three yeah. for a dollar. Mm -hmm. Put it, put some butter on it, put it in the oven and let it melt. I love it. Garlic bread, then just garlic bread. Okay, yes. very yes. good. So we're all into Italian food here, then. Of Pizza, I mean, baked lasagna. I'm Italian. Are you okay? Italian, oh. Irish, Hungarian. On my mother's good. side, uh, Italian um, and Bahamian. Okay. Uh, my That's father's side from down south. Yeah. Oh, I love southern food. I love comfort food. Where? Yeah. Have you been to Southern Hospitality here? No, but I heard about it. You got to. Well, you don't need the pork. I was gonna say pulled pork there is amazing. No, but you. But but there's another spice you try in Harlem called uh, Amy Roos. Oh, I've heard of that. Yo, you got it, Jake. We got to got Bobby Flay in the. Pool. We got to go to who? <laughs> that, nah. I'm, I'm I'm an amateur <laughs> chef's in here. But you got to. Well, I'm try. an amateur too. I just know what tastes. You good. know how to make it happen. Make yeah. it do what it do. Mm -hmm. You got to try Amy Roos because okay. at Amy Roos they have food named after prominent African Americans. Really. The only exception to that rule is they have a Bill Clinton. <laughs> they have they have ludicrous that's chicken and waffles. Oh, I love chicken and waffles. They, they, yeah, they have Madam C J Walker. So you get like What's the name? I want to take a note. My Amy Roots. Amy Roots. Yes, Amy Roots is my name. Have you been to Blue Ribbon? Huh? Have you been to Blue Ribbon? I've heard of it. Where's that? Uh, it's in so the Soho area, I think. I just went there for the first Soho? time the other day. Yeah, they've got like mashed potatoes and like crawfish and catfish. I had the catfish and mashed potatoes. It's pretty good. So this is what I think. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> I think the name in every restaurant in New York. Right I know. Now. Okay, I have over five hundred bookmark bookmarks on Yelp. I love oh restaurants. Yeah, that's just like I remember when I when I was covering the Nets their first year in Brooklyn for this blog. I used to go to to lunch with a friend of mine. She goes, "Yo, you're never supposed to go to the same restaurant twice. You're supposed yeah. to venture out the whole, huh?" You can go twice. But Brooklyn pisses me off because they want cash only all the time. That nothing makes me more furious than cash only places. <laughs> it's a known fact. <laughs> <laughs> Although the, my favorite pizza place that you need to go next time you go to a Mets game is the exit after City Field. Mm -hmm. It's called Amore's Pizza. It's the best pizza in my opinion and of all sorry? time. We have to try. It's it. in Flushing. Oh, okay. It's Linden Boulevard, Linden Place. The exit right after City Field. Oh, that is so Queens. Okay. If you drive, <laughs> go to Amore's and thank mm -hmm. you later. But it is cash only, but it's cheap, like two fifty. Oh, okay, got it. I just really never had cash on me. Thank It's you. the best pizza in the world. Um, so I highly recommend it. Yeah. I've been going there. It's probably the first thing I ate when I came out, came out the womb. I don't think I had babies. I thought you were going to say when you came out of prison. I was like, no. damn, what'd you do? I've not been in prison yet. Uh, <clears throat> you didn't tell about that time? No, I didn't. You know that time in Toronto? And, oh, know, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Sock, sock la blue? Sock la blue. <laughs> <laughs> Which, sock, it's not actually sock la blue. Like, what you mean? They ruined my life. What you I mean? What sock la blue. That's what it is, but it's something else. What do you else. mean? You went to prison? You went to jail, huh? Nah. Nah. Did you, yeah, tell about, did you tell about? Did you tell about? Did you tell about? Did you tell about Big Bertha? What happened? Big Bertha. Big Bertha. <laughs> I'm messing with you. Oh, I'm like, what did you guys do? We're out of school, Jay. I was talking to a girl a couple weeks ago. Her name was Bertha, but she wasn't big. She like, wasn't fat. How are you not big? She looked good. She had a big booty, but that was it. Like she oh, wasn't like God. big. I was just like, how do you small Bertha? Any like, photos? Uh, he got photos. All right, so let's move it. Zoom in on the face. Bring the Facebook Live around. I want to. Let me see this book here. Yeah, I want my signed damn say, copy, let's girl. Take a look. I'm sorry, no so let's, I know, I know. let's <laughs> here it is, pizza and chill. And how did you choose this? Is well, there it is. There's your phone pose. Can you make this pose right now? I can't. Yeah. No, they were telling me during the shoot, like, look like somebody's asking you, like, at three in the morning to go chill. All right, do that. <laughs> like, do that pose right now. I said, dear Lisa, let's, let's see the pose, the cover pose. <laughs> do she can't do it. She can't do it twice. One, two, chill. She can't do it twice. Is the flash on on my phone? I'm so sorry. And look, there are without without without. There are pictures. Are there pictures? Oh, yeah, there are pictures in there's there. There's big font, which I like. See, this is a book I can read. Like, that's, there's too much know, stuff. Everybody that's, that's like, gotten it has gotten through it in like 30 minutes or less. I'm yeah. oh, like, guys, there's pictures in there. That's the book <laughs> I that want. Sounds, that sounds like a pizza delivery. 30 minutes right. or less. I've been handed books like three, 400 pages with all words and small font. I can't do that. No, I don't have time. Like the Bible. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah. In the words of my mother, Sweet Brown. But this, this is what I'm like. I knew I liked you from the minute we hugged. Why? You. I'm liking your playlist, the chapter I three love playlist. Yes. You got Michael. 
Of course. You got the one that I want of the Greek soundtrack. Three? Chapter so page fit the next the page next to fifty six. I don't know if that's fifty seven. It doesn't say fifty seven. What so chapter is that? Chapter three playlist. Okay. Love in this club with Usher. Oh. oh Get is... lucky with Daft. Oh, What's the pen? Oh, this is about first Usher date. So this is like the first date playlist. So, so Lisa, this is our first date. Tell me, <laughs> tell, tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> Amy Roofs. Oh, you, you yes. threw Grace in there. It's a game over. Of Amy course. The greatest you the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a wow, wow, wow. Isn't that a good one? Have you read that one? I've heard it, yeah. I love that song. The way you make them one of them. Could you I imagine like, like Lil Wayne saying Bow Chicka Wow Wow while he's pouring champagne on the Samsung phone? <laughs> is that what he did? I'm just, in the com oh. Samsung commercial. <laughs> I'm like, is that really what he did? No, I'm just, I'm just being weird. Don't oh, okay. Don't, don't I'm like, I don't understand that reference. You need a reference. What was your favorite <laughs> part about doing this book? Um, I liked answering the questions because they're so random mm -hmm. from people. And I liked writing about like my personal anecdotes because there's been some such weird ones that I've had. So. What's the craziest first date you've ever had? Craziest? I don't know. The guy was just saying like he had been arrested five times, and like he told me about the scar he had on his hand from <coughs> going like taking a stripper home after the strip club. And, oh, like, he had strippers. I'm like, all the first date. Wow. Yeah, he had strippers. Can you believe I went on a second date with him because he was oh. so fine? It's like, what, what happened? I went on a second date with him. Can you believe it? Because he was so what? <laughs> he was so fine. But you know what? You, you, you After that, that was it, though. I was like, okay, hell no. You strike me as a good girl. I, I, I think I'm a good girl. And I didn't pay, she, she didn't pay me to say that. Mashed potatoes, you know. But would you agree with the assessment that you probably went on a second date because he was a bad boy? No. My boyfriend right now isn't even a bad boy at all. He's, he's but you're bad. older and you're settled. I'm older? Older I than, I no, I, I don't, I'm not answering that. <laughs> well, you just threw yourself down. No, I'm he's older than you, I would assume. He's 31. Jay, why are you giving that guys, my, why you, why I you, can share his age, because you're, 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 you're a man. You, okay? But, huh? <laughs> I said I'm younger than you, okay? But, but let me, I, I'm going to get myself out of this, hold on. <laughs> so, when I said that, I meant older from when you had that first date. Oh, yeah, that was like two year, two or three years ago. So was that was a terrible start, though. Okay, no, it wasn't. So, but I feel like, you're older from that situation and more experienced and you've seen things. So right. I would imagine also, that... I was just trying to, I was trying to stay busy. I didn't even care. I'm like, you want to go eat again? Okay, cool. It's not like we even, we didn't hold hands or kiss or anything. It was just like going to eat. Just screw it. So I was like, okay. <laughs> and then after that, it was just definitely no. It was a wrap from there. Mm -hmm. My go-to date is Mets game. Is it? That's a that's I just a went last date. night. It was a good time. Oh, that's good. Uh, you know, didn't get on the kiss cam. I thought we would. Did you get to kiss her? Of course. Oh, okay. Look at how he said that. <laughs> no, because Monday I cooked yeah. for her. I made chicken cutlets. You I guys made been rice. dating for a while. No, this was, I met her Monday. Oh, she shoot. came. I co I cooked. Damn, you were quick. You I met her Monday. Did. You were ready on a date last night. Yeah, I, no. Because I might have to have a dating rule for the next week. Because the next week I didn't come to my house. Because the next week I'm I'm busy, Sorry. so I was like, I can't chill the next week. So let's you, do it back to back. You 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 want to come in your house like that? We caught, for, well, first we went by the water, sat by the water, the rocks. You must I, really like her if she went to your house, because I don't like nobody in my house. People, I mean, you know what I mean? People I don't like mind. Her. I mean, usually it's the other way around. The girl doesn't want to go to the guy's house. That's true. Let me ask you a question. Do you find it, before, you said you're in a relationship now, but did you yeah. find it difficult to date now that you're, before you got in your long-term relationship, to date because you're somebody versus when you want to come up trying to make it happen? Um... No, it's always been the same. I mean, I'm a pretty good judge of character, so I know when to, like, just end things. Okay. So it's not like I've ever been in a relationship where it was like, oh, this person's using me, or... Okay. Never happened. But you dated where people knew who you were, and it was still fine? Or was it... Was it... I mean, yeah. And I... Yeah. And I never date people that don't have anything to lose, because those people are crazy. Yeah. You do what you want when you want. <laughs> so I hear. So I hear. Lisa Ramos in the building. Follow her on Twitter, Instagram. Lisa A. Ramos. Snap too. Same yeah, thing. yeah, same thing. It's, it's, I think I'll follow you now. Um, <laughs> Good because I put you on my Snapchat. And, <laughs> and um, I have heard, and you were on the DA show. Shout out Sean Marash, who you went to college with. Yeah, I went to SUNY Old Westbury with him. We Sam. sat right next to each other in computer class. Marash is a great guy. I love he him. is. He's a good dude. He said to say hello. So shout out Marash. Yeah, you at you ate pizza sixty yeah. days in a row. Oh hell that's no! Like out of the McDonald's super that, size. But meal. yes, but oh, I did not eat it for McDonald's. every meal. I just had it once a day for sixty days straight in twenty thirteen. I will never forget it. I was like, uh, I don't know what the hell my problem was. That's remarkable. It's, it was strange. I was addicted to it. I used to wake up. You gain weight. I don't. You know that's the skinniest I've ever been. I was like one hundred and five pounds. That's like I that's like some that. that's like some crackhead. That's shit. like twenty pounds skinnier than I am now. Eating pizza every day. That's absurd. 
Yeah, it's crazy. That's a good life, though. 60 days straight scoop of pizza. I would wake up in the morning and be like, oh, it's not open yet. I have to wait. Do you eat cold pizza? I'm not a fan I, of cold pizza. I eat cold pizza really? in the morning. Yeah. But you'll eat it straight out of the fridge and then just eat it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do really? that. I do that with Thanksgiving leftovers too. That's like at my mom and my and my my mom and stepfather's house. They don't have a microwave. What? Because they they toast everything in the oven because so they, they think the microwave ruins your food. I heard that too. So, I googled that. So like, I still don't care. my sister moved on campus, college campus recently. She's like, and guess what? I have a microwave oh. in my room. Like she was so happy because she grew up without a microwave. But like, I used to hate to wait for it to for it to heat in the in the oven. I would eat it cold. Yeah, like who has time? I know the crust gets hard. Ain't nobody got time for it. But the crust tastes <laughs> the crust tastes better when you when you put it in the oven though. Yeah, you have to put it on foil though, or else it'll get really hard, like a piece of toast. It has to be on like a pan or. Just like French fries taste when you reheat them, it's better to put it in the oven or toast. Oh, you know what's nasty? McDonald's French fries microwave. Hell yeah! yeah so you get all soggy. Yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. Wendy's fries are better though. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, I like McDonald's. I like KFC uh, potato wedges. The wedges. Oh yeah, oh, all those top off. Bojangles fries are great. Have you ever had Bojangles? No. Never had you Bojangles? know I've never had Chick-fil-A? Go I've on. never had Chick-fil-A. Just leave. Just leave. It's I over. It's in the city. We used to be friends. <laughs> it's in the city. It's right here. 46. It just came to right the now. city, though. I, can, I used to live in Miami, and I still never had it. Where in Miami? I used to live on South Beach. Nice. No, I'm not. Too crazy over there. I love Miami and Toronto are my favorite cities after New York. First you didn't eat Chick-fil-A, then you didn't eat Chick-fil-A. Then you didn't eat the six side. Sicardi. Six, six, six. Sicardi. No, one, one, one six. You said six, six, six. Six, 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 six. Thank you. Oh, that's what feels good, too. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, the weirdest... The weirdest... I know. The What's the weirdest text after a first date with a guy that you've received? Like, did you get one, like, right after, like, you went on your way home and you were like... Yeah, like that or like, oh my god, I had the best time ever. So no, I don't mind follow. I like I like follow up texts after the first date, but the worst one I ever got, and I never spoke to the guy again, was he told me how much he got me an Uber, and he told me how much it was. He's like, oh, your Uber was so expensive. You're an expensive date, winky face. I was like, oh take god. care, bro. You gotta invest in it. <laughs> I was like, okay. That's an investment. A Uber. Listen, you write that off at the end of the year. And not only that, but he didn't need to tell me that. <laughs> Right you're thinking about taxes over here. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm like, okay. That's when you know you're getting old, though. Thinking about tax write offs. Jake, you got one more time to talk about my age. <laughs> <laughs> you're 31 years old. I am. But you're she probably good. thinks I'm older than but that. You're, but you're pretty, so you get a pass. You you're pretty um, ugly. How old did you, <laughs> you guess I am? I don't know. I'm saying 30? 31? No? How old? 25. Really? Damn. I think it's because you're bald. But Lisa, you know what it is. But it's not a bad thing because like men age like wine. It's not like how us women age. Okay, you can come back now. The interview's not over. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. But Lisa, you know what they say about black, right? Black don't crack ass. My head up. I was saying that. <laughs> I was saying that to my coworker today. She was like 36. She looks like 20. You said black don't crack. I said, girl, black don't crack. <laughs> That's true. And she was like, facts. I'm trying to keep it that way. Yo, Jay, check this out. Jay, what does CP time stand for? <laughs> Color people time. Oh, okay. you know when somebody running late, you say, "Yo, they running on CP hey, that's time." That's Dominican time too. No. Yeah, I'll say color people time with Dominican no, time. No, you say Dominican LST. time. Like What's that? D time Land standard. Yeah, like we're running late. Are you serious? Land standard time. Baby. I never that's seen that. That's Paul Marin over here. Oh, Put the Paul camera on it. Put the camera on. You all right, we're going to wrap this Facebook Live because we don't want to give away the whole interview here to everyone. So. Nah, y'all got to go to play.it slash Brown in School. Coming on Monday. Peace.